My name is Luke St. John. I work at the National Sports Council. I'm a football coach and I started last year, September. I would have started uh, playing football when I was five with Dean Aline. He was my first football coach. I would have then gone on to soccer school with Mr. Castani and Mr. Ward. I would have stopped playing for a little bit and pursued my swimming and water polo career uh, where I went to represent Barbados in the 50 and 100 meter freestyle, getting medals in those at Carifta. And I also represent Barbados at water polo. I'm also an official for water polo and football. I would have refereed up to the Premier League as assistant referee and also gone to the under 15 girls CONCACAF tournament uh, in Florida. In water polo, I would have refed up to the Junior Pan Ams and that was also held in Florida in 2018. Started back football with uh, Jack Bavel and BSA and then after that, I would have gone overseas and played at a Canadian university on their varsity team. Coaching in football would have started voluntarily at Queen's College. I would have done that while I was still at UE. Uh, I coached the under 19 boys there to two consecutive finals in the uh, Barbados Secondary School Football League. I would have then started to work with uh, the Barbados Soccer Academy as well. As a player, my greatest accomplishments would have been uh, scoring a brace on my debut on the Premier League here in Barbados playing for Tudor Bridge. It was played at the YMCA when uh, the Premier League was played there. Very enjoyable times. As a coach, I would say getting to the finals of the under-19 tournament, that was something special for me, especially being a uh, alumni of uh, Queen's College. It was a very happy experience that I got to take the boys to the final. Unfortunately, we didn't get, you know, the first place, but that's how it goes. I learned a lot and up to today, the boys, you know, when I see them, they will still shout me and I appreciate that. They learned a lot and so did I. My greatest moment uh, would be scoring the first goal for the university uh, that I went to in Canada. It was really, an uh, unforgettable moment coming from uh, a place like Barbados, you know, and experiencing that level of uh, sport in general, the varsity level up there is very high, you know, so just experiencing that and getting that accomplishment, we also won the game. It was really a memorable moment and uh, something that I would never forget. We made a lot of friends throughout. But what I like most about coaching is seeing the development from the kids. Um, when I do a session, I not just teach the skill itself, but also the life skill. So I always tell the kids, you know, it's always good to be a good footballer, but it's great to be a good footballer and a good person on and off the field. So I try to enforce life skills within the lesson. And at the end of the lesson, I would always ask them what they learned. And the main thing is just to make a better person, you know. All of us are one people here in Barbados, and I believe that if we could all try to make the next generation better, we would all be doing ourselves a good service. The advice I would give to young and aspiring players and or coaches would be to always keep learning, right? You always have to keep learning, always look for the latest uh, methods, techniques, that would try to make your session better. You could always mix it into what you have before and add on and create your own uh, way of doing things, you know. The main thing is to understand what it is that you're getting and to use it to the best of your abilities and to what situations we have around us. With that information, we could go very far and do what we have to do to just keep on developing and become the best that we can be. If I had the power to change or adjust anything in my sport, it would definitely be to have a full-time academy. Um, I believe this would prepare the young athletes for collegiate level as well as professional level. Um, 
we Barbadians are very fortunate to have a lot of talent, but we always hear that the talent gets put to waste once the kids reach a certain age. So I believe to harness that talent, especially when they reach that threshold age, I believe that the academy would be the best way to solve that problem and harness all the talent that we have here.